how to add woocommerce cart icon to your menu quick and easy hi guys welcome back in this tutorial i'll show you how to add a woocommerce cart icon to your menu so let's get into it if you're using woocommerce with your wordpress and you have an online store on woocommerce then you know when we are creating our own product page and we have our own menu on our store so if you're looking to actually add a little card icon in your menu on your header that's what i will show you today so for that i will be adding a plugin today which is going to be a free plugin and it's actually a really easy method to add a cart icon to your wordpress website to add the plugin to your wordpress you're going to scroll down a little bit to the plugin section and then you're going to click on add new so this is the add a plugin section and we're going to search for a new cart and it will give us the plugin we are looking for all right, so here we have the first one, WP Menu Card automatically displays a shopping cart in your menu bar, works with WooCommerce and easy. So you can see it has 8,000 active installation and is compatible with my WordPress version. So this is the one that you're going to go for and it will allow us to add a cart icon to our WordPress menu. Click on install now and it will just take a few seconds to install and once it's done you're gonna click on activate now our plugin has been activated so if you will go to your woocommerce right here then it will show you menu cart setup so you have to click on that and it will take you right here you can see we have woocommerce and then i selected menu cart setup this is our plugin that we added so here we have our plugin settings and we just need to enter the information here select the display and we will just click on save changes and the icon will be added to our menu first of all select which e-commerce plugin you would like to menu cart to work with so if you already have others e-commerce plugins such as you have shopify uh, you have big commerce then it will actually allow you to create this icon for other e-commerce platforms as well but we are selecting woocommerce here moving on select the menu in which you want to display the menu cart so if you have more than one menu then you will select the one you want to go for so i will go with this one this is the menu that i created for my test store on woocommerce so i'm going to select this one you will select your main menu where you want to add the icon keep that in mind always display cart even if it's empty so this is an option for us for example a customer is buying something and they added something to the cart so do you want to display the cart then or if you want the cart to be just there even if they are not adding something to it it will just say that zero there is nothing in the cart so i actually want that i want to display the cart in my menu even if it's empty show on cart and checkout page yes i want to show the cart in my checkout page as well to avoid distracting your customer with duplicate information we do not display the menu cart item on the cart and checkout pages okay so they're saying that it might confuse the user and the customer if you have another cart icon above in your menu because on our checkout page and in our cart page we already have these icons so if there is another icon it may confuse the user so that's actually a really good point so i'm gonna uncheck this one i'll just go with this one for my main menu page moving on we have display card contents in menu flyout so if you want to show the icon in the menu flyouts as well then you can select this option for now i'm not gonna do that moving on set maximum number of products to display in flyout so this is for again it's actually a conditional a setting for this one right here so we are not going for a fly out so that's why we cannot select it but you can select a maximum number of products to display 5 10 20 3 whatever product you want to go for and then we have choose a cart icon now this is going to be the icon that you can select so we have this one then we have this one right here different types of icons you can see the difference here we have this one right here like a bucket type then we have this one here and this one as well so i think i'm gonna go with the classic cart right here then we have what would you like to display in the menu items only price only both price and items so this is for the menu 
like if you want to show the price and items as well or if you just want to show the items if you just want to show you the price i will be going with both then we have select the alignment that looks best with your menu now it depends on your menu type so if you have your other pages on the left side of the menu of the page then you can select left if you want to go for a default menu alignment so i'm going to go with default because uh, right now i cannot imagine what will look good on my page actually i have my menu on this side of the screen so i'm just going to go with default that will just align the icon automatically so you don't have to do much then we have price to display card total including discounts so now what how you will show the price if you want to just show the card total if you just want to add a subtotal a checkout total so what i will do is i will actually show a checkout total because it happens with me as well i am seeing something on the card that it says okay so my total is going to be hundred dollars and then at the end when there is a shipping included it becomes like 100 and something and then i get a little confused and i'm like okay so there is more to it so i'm just gonna go with like a very clear checkout total so that my customers will be they will know that okay this is the total with everything included even the discounts even the shipping even the fee then we have an a custom css now if you have a custom css you can add it right here otherwise you can leave this option and then we have our last option, which is use custom Ajax. Enable this option to use a custom Ajax live update function. So if you want to go with this one, you can check it. Otherwise, these are the different settings that you will do with the plugin. It's really easy to use. You're going to click on save changes and your menu card icon will be created. And now you will have a card icon in your WooCommerce. So this is the, the item that we went for. And you can, of course, change it later as well. Now, if you will publish your website and if you have a store, you check out your storefront, it will show you a small icon a card icon like this in your menu so this is how you can also go ahead and add a woocommerce card icon in your menu really easily using a free plugin go ahead and check it out right now the plugin is menu card for woocommerce once you add the plugin and then you can use all of these different settings and you will be able to have a card icon in your menu so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question